GPU mining is starting to take off in 2024. Profits are somewhat on the rise, especially before the bull run in a few months. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build a budget mining rig with only three GPUs so that you can have this ready to go when the bull run comes and be raking in those big profits because you wanna buy this hardware when it's cheap right now, not when everyone's trying to buy GPUs to start mining. Let's go ahead and do a quick breakdown of all the parts that you need to make a GPU mining rig. So first off, you're gonna need a motherboard, RAM, and a CPU. I get this off of eBay. It's only $57 for all three of those components. And the best news is it's already configured for mining. So you don't need to get into the BIOS and mess with a bunch of settings. You literally just plug your GPUs in and it's ready to go. If you watch my channel a lot, you know that I normally build with wooden mining rigs. You can see a bunch of them behind me. Well, today I wanted to mix it up and try a metal mining rig frame. I got this one off of Amazon for about $40 and it's actually just about everything you need and if i'm being honest it looks a little more clean than the wooden rigs that i have for that frame i've got a five pack of arctic gpu fans and these are going to mount onto the front of the frame and provide airflow to all the gpus you're going to need an atx power supply to power the motherboard as well as your ssd so this is a 500 watt bronze PSU off of Amazon. I think it's about $45. So this is the one I always use and I recommend to everyone. By the way, I'm gonna include links to all of these parts down in the description. So our ATX PSU is gonna power our motherboard, but we're gonna need some more power to power the GPUs. And in this case, we're gonna use 750 watt server power supplies. What these do is they come with a lot of PCIe cables right here. So you can power a lot of GPUs on these and not have to worry about running out of cords. There's gonna be two of these in this build. Each of these is rated for 750 watts. So 1500 watts of graphics card power available, but you can only use 80% of that. So we're gonna be using only 1200 watts on these power supplies would be the max. You're gonna need your SSD, cheap one off Amazon. You can get these for like $20. You're also gonna need GPU risers and you can get these on eBay. They're about $25 per, for a pack of six. And last but not least, let's talk about the GPUs. So all of these are MSI 3060 Ti's. They're all different variants. We have a three fan, we have a two fan, and then we have an RGB edition. But all of these cards will be great for crypto mining. The 3060 Ti is basically my favorite card for crypto mining. So let's get to building. In all my years of mining, this is the first time I've ever actually bought a mining rig frame. In the past, I've always just built them. So this is the first time I've ever actually had to install motherboard standoffs, which is what we're doing here so that our motherboard is not sitting directly onto the metal chassis. Because if that was the case, it could short out. Now we're gonna put our screws into the motherboard basically just to hold it in place. These don't need to be extremely tight. There's not gonna be a lot of forces hitting the motherboard. We'll do the same thing for our power supply right here, getting it locked down. And then we're gonna go with plugging the cords into the board. So really it's just the 24 pin motherboard cable as well as a CPU connector. We also need to plug in our SATA data cable. This is what's gonna transfer the data from our Hive OS drive. So we'll plug that into the drive as well. And then the last cable is just gonna be a SATA power cable to actually power that drive. And this is why we need to use that ATX PSU so we can get all these connections that are specific to the motherboard and to the SSD, etc. Now I got a 12 card frame so that I could fit two of these server PSUs in there and it's a pretty tight fit. So you definitely wouldn't be able to fit any more power supplies than what I have in this video. You guys may have noticed that I've been building a lot of rigs lately and that's because I've kind of started a local side business where I'll build rigs for customers in the Kentucky area or even the surrounding areas this rig is actually for a guy coming from South Carolina so if you guys are interested in purchasing a rig 
send me an email, modernmininghub at gmail.com. And I've got really good deals. I hardly charge any labor at all on these just because I get to make a video on them. So it's kind of a win-win. But what we did there was we plugged all of our PCIe cables into the power supplies. And now we're just unboxing our risers and plugging those PCIe cables into those. There's nothing more annoying than when you forget to plug a PCIe cable into a riser, but the GPU is already on there. You have to take the GPU back off to plug the cables in. So I just make sure everything is plugged in before I even start getting the GPUs out. Then we'll go ahead and just position these risers in the general area of where they're gonna be. Since this rig is only gonna include three cards, I'm just gonna space them out as much as possible just to get as much cool air on them as possible. And we're going to do a little bit of cable managing a little later, so ignore that mess for now. These metal frames are nice because they have a ton of holes to screw your GPUs into, so you do have that customizability to kind of place them wherever you want to. And even though this rig frame is for 12 cards, I think it's better for about eight cards. If you put 12 on there, it would be pretty tight. This is what it's looking like so far, starting to kind of look like a GPU mining rig. We're getting pretty close, except we're about to run into some serious hiccups in a minute. Next step is just plugging our GPUs in. Got to get those power cables in. And now that our GPUs are plugged in, we actually need to plug the riser cables into the motherboard. And it doesn't matter which slot you use, it's just going to basically determine what order the cards show up in the operating system, but even that is not really a big deal. This step may be a little confusing, but what we're doing here is taking the Molex cable from our ATX PSU and actually plugging it into the two breakout boards of our server PSUs. And what that's gonna do is actually turn those on and off based on the power switch of the ATX PSU. A lot of people have questions on how to turn on all three PSUs at once. And this is what I've found to be the easiest way. Just take that spare Molex cable and plug it into both of your server PSU breakout boards. Right here, we're just doing a little bit of cable management. Unfortunately, with these type of rigs, there's only so much you can do to make the cables look organized there's they're always going to be a little messy looking but that's all right as long as it's making money then we're happy so this is where i realized i screwed up here i can't put these fans on with the gpus in place so i'm just leaving everything plugged in and taking the gpus off so we can put these fans on but unfortunately it's about to be even more of a screw up and we'll see that here shortly I think these mining rig frames are meant for maybe 120 millimeter fans um, because these 140 millimeter fans I realized are not were not lining up with the holes on the frame. So I actually ended up having to drill my own custom holes into the frame and then zip tie my fans together in an array and then only screw in the two end fans. Not a huge deal, but it was annoying because I had to take all the cards off. And even more scary was that I had to drill into that frame. And I was really worried about getting little steel flakes into the power supplies, which could easily cause a short or an arc. So I made sure to cover up the power supplies while I was doing the drilling and then blow them off very good before I actually turn the rig on because Last thing you want to do is turn it on and just have it blow up in your face because there's steel chunks still left over. Zip tying fans like this is pretty common. That's what I do on all my wooden rigs is just zip tie them all together so you only have to screw in the first and last and it seems to work great. And it allowed me to fit five of these 140 millimeter fans perfectly onto this frame. So overall, it turned out good. 
And right here I had to use a couple different fan splitters to get all five of these fans connected to the motherboard. In the future I'm probably going to use a SATA fan hub to power all these, but these splitters work fine for now. Um, with five fans it's generally okay to use a single motherboard fan header, and that's what I did. So starting to look really good. Wish I could be taking a nap like old Winnie here. All right, well that took a little longer than expected. The fans did not fit, so make sure you either get 120 millimeter fans or be prepared to actually drill into the frame. Let's plug this in and see if it works. All right, so the only last steps is we need to plug our power cables in. We're only using one server PSU and the ATX PSU, so all we have to do is just plug our two power cords in. I'm using 240 volt, but all these parts will work in a standard home outlet as well. Just plug this in. Hopefully nothing shorts out from the metal chunks uh, from drilling. I made sure to blow everything out, so hopefully we should be good to go. Okay. The power supply is on. All the fans are spinning. Everything appears to be working correctly. As you can see our ATX PSU, you should see about 12 volts, which we do. And all the cards are spinning, which we want. And it's okay that they just stopped. And our front fans are working too. It's a pretty good looking rig. So let's hop in, into the computer and we will check out our profitability and our hash rates. And then we'll come down here and I'll turn these two big boy rigs off and we can get our exact power usage of our new rig so that we have an idea of how profitable this really is. Well, good news guys. It looks like our rig is popped up in Hive OS and all three cards are showing up. So we didn't have any issues with the installation and it appears to be running fine. So this is our rig right here. You can see it doesn't have a flight sheet on it. So we'll go into here. I'm not gonna break down how to set up the flight sheets and the overclocks. I've got a full video on this. Check out, uh, it's linked up there and down below. It's full software guide for GPU mining. So if you do build a rig, check that out to figure out these next steps. But let's talk about profitability. How profitable is this little three card rig gonna be? Well. If we go to Hashrate NO, which is the general place that most people look to figure out which coin to mine, we can see that three 3060 Ti's, put that in there with my power cost of 11 cent kilowatt hour. You can see that we're making about 89 cents profit on this Anarchist coin um, and $2 in revenue. But Right now, Zealous is actually the most profitable coin to mine. I'll show you how I know that. The weird thing about Zealous coin is that the calculators don't really work on it. So you really just have to mine it and see what the profitability comes out to be. But if I go to my K1 pool dash pool, which is just a mining pool, I've been mining Zealous for the past two days with 24 GPUs. And you can see I've generated about $21 both days. So 21 divided by 24, I'm making about 92 cents per day per card. So if we use those numbers, that means that this three card 3060 Ti rig is making about $2.70 revenue every single day. So first I'm gonna set this to start mining Zealous real quick and then we'll go downstairs and check our power and see just how profitable we really are. Setting our flight sheet, we'll go in here just really quickly. Uh, I should be able to do this pretty quick for you guys. So Zealous, wallet, we're gonna do K1 pool wallet, K1 pool, and we're gonna use USA stratum, select miner, regal miner, and then we really need quickly need to put in our overclocks. Um, but I won't do that yet. I'm gonna copy them from somewhere. So this is gonna be Zealous, the founder rig. So create that flight sheet. And then really quickly to get our overclocks, you wanna to go to your GPU and HiveOS, 3060 Ti. 
and then you want to find a similar coin so pyron and copy our regal overclocks right here so we'll go back into this flight sheet and edit it and stick this in here and then this is going to be 220 1700 and 6000 for zealous and hopefully that will go ahead and start running we'll select our worker the founder go into flight sheet and hit the rocket ship on that one we just built and let's see if this starts mining so you're going to want to refresh the page a few times and another thing you can do is hit this pickaxe up here and go to miner log and it'll actually give you the log of the miner so if we have an error code you're going to find it in that log that's a good way to troubleshoot when you're first setting up a rig or first setting up flight sheets all right let's check that log looks like we do have an error code so you know what the issue is this rig is not updated to the latest version and zealous is a new coin so what we need to do is actually upgrade to the latest version of hive os and then we will be able to mine zealous coin so that's why it's always good to check your logs guys because otherwise you really would have had no idea what was going on there it was basically saying it can't find the zealous hash algorithm because hive os just released that algorithm in the newest update okay so now we get this self upgrade successful message we'll go ahead and refresh this and all right looks like we're getting some zealous hash rate i was going to say we might need to refresh the flight sheet but it looks like it's working good so we will double check the power at the wall but let's really quickly get some calculations based on this 400 watt number up here which is usually decently accurate but not always so if we put 406 watts in here 24 hours a day that's going to be 9.744 kilowatt hours and i'm at 11 cents per kilowatt hour so let's pull up a calculator here 9.744 times 0.11 Basically, it's using a dollar in power a day and generating $2.70 per day. So we are earning $1.7 per day profit every single day. These numbers go all over, all over the place. They can go up, they can go down. Hopefully over the next year, they continue going up. But 1.7 a day is a little under $60 a month in profit for three GPUs, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, so now that we have this bad boy up and mining, Let's turn these other two rigs off and see what our actual power consumption is at the wall. So this one, power button's over here. Let me reach down there. Okay. And this one, power button is right here. So we had 406 watts at the wall inside and looks like we're at 420. Pretty consistent so that still leaves us with a good amount of profit so now that you've got a rig built you're gonna need some way to manage the heat so check out this video and I'll show you how I set up my exhaust setup in my garage see you guys next time